Hello, hello, good morning, good morning. It's Zoe here for our first episode of the Summer Shape Up Challenge. Today I am on Instagram Live right here and on Facebook Live right here. So I hope that you can see me okay. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. But first thing I wanted to mention is the limited edition baby pink yoga mat, which you can see on Facebook, you can't see the color as well. But we did get a limited run of a few of these yoga mats, um, the pink color for a nice little change. And they're gonna be uh, kind of the summer shape up yoga mats. Of course, it does come with the bright pink carrying case as well. Usually this says yoga burn on it, but this is just a sample one that I got. So yeah, I'm loving the pink yoga mat. So cute. Um, and the summer shape up challenge, what it's gonna be is three days a week. We're gonna be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 a.m. I know I look a little bit washed out on there, but that's okay. Um, and I have also made a calendar for you of exactly what the workouts are going to be. So today we are doing a full body fire flow. And that means that we are gonna be moving our body with yoga postures that help us to generate heat. I am outside today though, it's not really that warm, which is why I have a long sleeve on. So hopefully I can warm up a little bit and we can get flowing. So be sure to tap the link I've placed for you around this video to check out the pink yoga mat and also claim your ultimate free yoga kickstart kit, which is four weeks of at home, follow along restorative yoga, which I think you will absolutely love as well. So we're gonna hope, go ahead and get started. Today's practice is gonna be about 30 minutes. So we're gonna come down to our mats in a kneeling position. The hands resting on the thighs, so palms are facing up. Closing down the eyes and softening the space start to bring our attention and our awareness to the breath. If this position is not comfortable, please feel free to sit in any position that suits you. And then start to shift your awareness to the breath so that as we inhale, we expand down into the belly, then the ribs, then the chest. As we exhale, then we soften the chest, then the rib cage, then the belly. So it's like we're filling up from the bottom all the way up to the top, and then we're emptying from the top all the way down to the bottom. Okay, just another breath or two right here. From there, draw the chin to the chest and slowly start to roll the head from side to side. And if you like, you can reach your fingertips down towards the floor. That'll help deepen the stretch. Bring the head to center, shrug the shoulders up to the ears, then drop them back and down. Big circles, try two more all the way up. Back and down, and last one. Awesome, from there, let's make our way to all fours. Lining up the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Little cat-cow to start us off. So as we inhale, soften the belly, pull the chest forward. As we exhale, curl and round through the spine. Nice job, try that two more times. Inhaling, arch the back, open up. Exhale, round the spine, really push the mat away. Chin draws in towards the chest. Awesome. Nice. From there, come to a neutral spine, curl the toes under and hover the knees. So the knees are just hovering above the mat, starting to warm up through the core. A couple times, you're just gonna inhale, lean forward, exhale back. Now just make it 
small and the idea of this is to warm up the wrist. So you're leaning forward, leaning back and that little lean forward, warming us up through the wrists, through the knees. Nice, from there, lift the hips nice and high and take your first downward facing dog, pedaling out the feet, walking your dog, moving in any way that feels good for you. From there, we'll walk our feet up to our hands and fold forward over the legs, relaxing through the head, the neck, the shoulders. If it feels good to sway a little bit side to side, you can do that. One vertebrae at a time, rolling all the way up to stand and giving the shoulders a nice roll at the top. From there, we're gonna do two half sun salutations, just the standing portion before we get into the full flow. So inhale, send the arms high to the sky, connecting the palms. As we exhale, folding forward over the legs, take a big, big dive. Breathe in to lengthen the spine, bring the hands to the shins. Breathe out and forward fold. Reverse, come all the way back up, sending the arms to the sky, big touch. And exhale the hands down through heart center. Namaste. Let's try that one more time. Inhale the arms high. Exhale, big fold. Inhale, stretch the spine super long. Breathe out and let it go. Rise all the way up to stand, connect the palms. And exhale the hands all the way down to heart center. Nice job. Starting to warm up the legs a little more before we get into our full flow. So let's try stepping the feet as wide apart as the shoulders, bringing the palms to touch. From there, we're just gonna bend the knees and keep the knees pressing out, lower down into a little squat, and then press all the way back up, squeezing. So keep going with that, lowering down and pressing up. Now at the top, we're trying to get that squeeze and connection through the glutes. But what we are not doing is excessively pressing the hips forward. We're keeping the tension right here at the top. Palms strongly pressing together. Try three more. Three. Two. Next one, come on down and hold. Just building that heat in the legs. You can try a little pulse. If you feel like it's hard and you're really tipping forward, instead of palms pressing, try arms reaching out. I feel like that can kind of give you a little more counterbalance. And keep trying with that little pulse. Waking up those legs. Nice, for eight, seven, get a little lower, weight in those heels. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, rise all the way up, step the feet together. Let's get into our modified sun salutation. Big toes touching, inhale, arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen as we breathe in. Fold as we breathe out. Hands connect to the mat. Step back into our first plank pose. Big breath in prepares us. Exhale, lower all the way down. Keeping the elbows in close, point the toes. Let's do a little baby cobra. So inhale to lift the head, the chest, a couple ribs. Exhale, lower down. Try that twice more. Big inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, soften. Last one. Nice job. Press up to the knees, back to a child's pose. So the big toes come together. The hips sink all the way back. Curling up to all fours, tuck the toes behind us, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Awesome. Keep equal weight in both hands. 
And from there, we're gonna lift the right leg nice and high. So feel that squeeze in the glute, stretching the leg high. But rather than turning the hips open, we're trying to keep the hips nice and square. So think that right hip rolling down in line with the left one. Big breath in right here. Then exhale, come forward, draw your knee right into your nose, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, kick back up, drive through the heels. Exhale, knee to nose. One more. Step the foot up between the hands. Shift it up there if you need to. And we're gonna take a diagonal lunge. So rather than rising all the way up, stay tipped forward over that right leg and stretch the arms back. This is where we're gonna start to create some of that fire, some of that heat. So rather than pressing back through the left heel, see if you can lean a little bit forward so the left heel lines up over the ball of the foot and you're really feeling that weight in the right foot. Stay low, send your arms out to the side, big airplane arms. Stay low, stretch your arms overhead. So you're like a big long line from the back heel all the way up to the fingertips. Last breath here. Nice job, bring the hands down to the mat, rock into that back knee, then step the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, long spine, exhale, bow. Rise all the way up to stand, palms to neck. And exhale the hands down through heart center. Great, same thing, other side. Inhale, left arms high, exhale, forward fold. Lengthen as we breathe in, fold as we breathe out. Hands to the mat, inhale, step back to plank. Smooth and steady, exhale all the way down to the mat. Three baby cobras, inhale, lift off. Exhale, soft. Awesome, lift off. And lower. Once more. Up to those knees, child pose. Hips heavy, heavy towards the heels. Curling up to all fours, tucking the toes. Hips go high, downward facing dog. Really spreading out through the fingers and connecting them firmly into the mat. Now it's the left leg that's gonna lift up. And you're pushing back through the heels, squaring off the hip. Big breath in, exhale, knee to nose. Two more, big lift, knee to nose. One more. Step the foot up between the hands. Mm-hmm, good. Diagonal lunge. So make sure we're not rounding through the upper back. Instead, squeeze the shoulder blades together, reach the arms back, so you are tipped forward, but you still are a nice straight line. And then rock your weight a little bit forward. You've got a great view of the knee here, so make sure it's not collapsing in, it's staying open over the ankle. Airplane arms out to the side, long, strong arms, looks good. Last one, reach the arms overhead. Palms are facing either towards one another or down towards the mat. Sink your hips low, feel the work in that supporting left leg. Hands down to the mat, rock your weight back, then step the foot up. Inhale, we lengthen halfway. Exhale, we fold. Rise all the way up to stand, connecting the palms. And exhale the hands all the way down 
through heart center. Nice job. I'm finally starting to warm up a little bit. So we're going to keep working into the legs, but now we are going to do a little bit more in a balanced pose. So we're going to be in a warrior three kind of shape with some of the similar arms we just worked on. So let's start at the middle of our mat with the big toes close together. Stretch your right leg back behind you and have your arms down by your side. Now notice if your hips have twisted and just try and square them off to the front of your mat. You have a soft bend in that back knee. Kick back through your right heel so the glute is engaged and start to tip forward into your warrior three. So our hips are square. We're kicking back through that heel so the glute is turned on and strong. And the core is, of course, pulling in. Stay there and try your airplane arms. Really reaching out through the fingers like you're being, somebody's on your right hand, someone's on your left hand, pulling them apart. Stretch the arms forward. Exact same flow as we did when we were in our lunge. Rise all the way up and pull that right knee up to your chest. Be patient, you got this. And then set the foot down, release the arm. Set for the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna reach our fingers all the way down towards the floor, kicking back through the left foot this time. And our hips are square to the front, chest nice and lifted. Start your tip forward. Nice deep breaths. And you've got that soft little micro bend in the supporting right leg. Send the arms out wide to the side. Airplane, stretching out. Stay low, arms reach all the way forward. See if we can rise all the way up and pull the knee through. Core muscles are nice and strong. And release the foot and the arms all the way down by our side. Let's bring the hands to heart center and get into a chair pose now. So the big toes are close together. Inhale, get long and tall, press the palms firmly. Exhale, bend the knees, chair pose. Weight is in our heels, we can wiggle the toes. The shoulders drawing back and down, the chest nice and lifted. Now tip forward and get a nice flat back like we could serve breakfast on our back. We're going to set for a twist. Option number one, right hand to the outside of the thigh, left hand to low back. Option number two, right elbow to outside of the thigh and the palms are pressing together. Breath is smooth and steady. Come back to center, stay low, weight in those heels. Twist in the other direction, so either left hand to outside of thigh, right hand to low back, or wedge the elbow. center. Stay low. Try again those airplane arms out to the side. Ooh, we are building heat today. And this repetition is what creates those results and the changes in the body. So that stretching the arms out, that's like how we do reps in yoga. It's not like the traditional counting of reps. We just keep coming back and back to the sequence. Reach your arms forward. That might allow you to sink your hips lower Tummy's pulled in tight, chest is open. Woo, and fold forward over the legs. Oh, spicy, spicy. Inhale, lengthen. Hold your breath in, step back to plank. Exhale, either all the way down in cobra or halfway down and upward facing dog, whatever feels best. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Three smooth breaths here. Catch your breath. Smooth it out. Nice 
nice job. From there, come on forward and then bring your forearms down to the mat. So just one at a time, forearms down to the mat, setting in our plank position. Now what you're gonna do is rock your hips over to one side, like a little twist, then rock your hips over to the other. So like you're just making a semi-circle with your butt, a little side to side. And I find my feet kind of trying to, they kind of want to travel away. So just keep stepping your feet up a little bit as you twist side to side. Little twist, little twist. Breathe, keep the shoulders down. The shoulders can't save you now. <laughs> Go for five. Four, nice job, smooth breathing. Two, we're gonna do one more each side. Great job, then come to center and hold. Tuck that bum under, pull the abs in, and press the forearms into the mat so you're pushing, pushing yourself away. Feel how strong the core is supporting you. Three more breaths here, then we're out. Go for three. Go for two, <sighs> one more, one, nice job. Lower all the way down. And from there, we're gonna come down onto our right side to do a little bit of work for the side glute. So come down onto your right side, have your heels together. And rather than having your heels in line with your hips, you're gonna have your heels together out in front and your knees in line with your hips. So instead of here, you're here. Almost like, um, like a fetal position kind of, your knees together. Now if we have any neck or shoulder issues or if the arms are just tired, you could also be down like this. So you choose what feels best. From there we're going to squeeze the heels together, open that top knee up, and then lower down. Open the top knee up and lower down. And we're trying to think the whole time that we're still pulling in through the core. And you're prying the legs open with the strength of your hips. If you want extra support, your left hand could also be here. I find this variation with the left arm helps me to stay more square. Or you could do hand on the hip. Let's go for five more on this side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Legs together. Stretch that left leg out to straight in front of you, flexing through the heel. Now we're going to lift the leg up till it's maybe about shoulder height, and then lower down till it's in line with the hip. So lift and lower. Your foot is flexing and your toes are pointing up towards the top of your mat. Keep the neck long, the shoulders down. Yep. Good. Good stuff. Stretch the leg as straight as you can, driving through the heel. Still strong in our core. Here's our five. Then we're gonna pulse at the top. Four, woo, three, two, come up and hold nice and high, little pulses, little pulses. Now keep your, you'll probably notice your toes wanna turn up to the sky. Keep turning them towards the top of your mat so the outer edge of your foot is parallel to the floor. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good job. Release down, come on up and switch over. Just take a little half time if you want. Give a little movement to the neck. And then let's get set up for our other side. So we're down on the left forearm, heels together, and you're pulling up through your core. Remember the other option of laying down and supporting the head. Knees in line with hips right out in front of you. Great. Open and close. And really important that the 
this top hip is not rolling around as we open. It's staying square. Nice. Really good squeeze. Yeah, so this is working the muscles in the upper and outer portion of the hip. And it's also working the outer side of the thigh. So it really helps to create that nice shape down along the hip all the way to the knees. Let's get our five. Five, four, three, I like it shaking, <laughs> two, and one. Awesome. Now the top part, get the legs straight. Try and keep your knees in line. Leg in line with the hip, up high, about halfway down. Up high, halfway down. You guys are getting a good view of my needing a pedicure feet, but I know I'm not alone in needing a pedicure. It's a worldwide problem right now. So it helps to exhale, power the leg up. Exhale. The second side is always harder. So if you're feeling like, wow, why is this side so much harder? It's usually just because the you don't feel it, but the bottom leg is working too, the hip. Part of the function of the hips is to stabilize. So both hips are working at the same time. Get our five, then we pulse. Leg straight, four. Toes to the short edge of your mat. Three, two, up and hold, pulse, pulse, pulse. Oh, I was sagging into that shoulder. Strong in the shoulder. My leg is like going wonky. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, release. Good job. Come on over onto your back. Hug the knees in. Take a little rock side to side. We're just going to finish with a core movement and then we'll be finishing up with some stretches. So send the legs up nice and high to the sky. Flex through the feet. And bring your hands just underneath the bum. So you can feel your lower back pressing down. Pull your core muscles in really, really strong and do not let them pop up. What we're gonna do is a little three part leg raise. So you're gonna lower a quarter of the way down, then lift back up. Then lower a half the way down and lift back up. Then go all the way down and lift back up. Start that again, a quarter. Exhale, a half. Exhale, all the way down. And exhale, nice job. So keep going, quarter, half, all the way. Core muscles pull in, quarter, half. Squeeze your legs together, all the way. Awesome. Keep going with that. Keep your chin tucked into your chest. Make sure you're not using momentum. You're using strength in the core. Half. All the way. Woo! Last four. Four. Halfway. All the way. Get low, get low. Power up. Nice. Three more. Quarter. Half. Yeah, all the way, big one. Two more, quarter. Come on, stay with it. A half, all the way. Yes, last one, quarter. Half, all the way. Yes, yes, nice job. Hug those knees in again. Now bring the feet onto the mat, hip width distance apart. Toes pointing straight ahead. Your heels are stepping in close to your hips. Press your hands and arms down into the mat alongside your body and peel the hips, the mid back, low back, everything all up away from the mat for a nice strong bridge pose. You can stay right there or you can clasp the hands beneath you and walk the shoulders more underneath the body, squeezing the shoulder blades together Lifting and opening through the chest. Mm 
big deep breaths into that belly. Unclasp the hands if you clasp them and roll down through upper back, middle back, lower back, and hips. Nice job. Send the right leg out nice and long. Hug the left knee in. Give the ankle a little roll. Let's twist. The leg comes across the body. And your left arm is going to reach out long on the floor. Breathing nice and deep, slowing that heart rate down. Let's do a hip stretch. Come to center, grab a hold of that left leg again, and put your right foot on the mat. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, figure four stretch. Maybe you want to stay right here. Maybe you want to pick the legs up and grab onto the back of that left thigh or the left shin. Ooh, what a good stretch this one is. Release down. Let's do that same sequence other side. So now left leg goes long. Right knee squeezes in. Bringing the leg across the body for a twist. Now it's the right arm that reaches out long. Coming all the way back to center, grab a hold of that leg and put the left foot on the mat, crossing the right ankle over. Maybe we want to stay right here, maybe we want to pick the legs up to grab a hold of that left thigh somewhere, wherever's comfortable. And you're really working to push that knee open. So rather than the knee coming in towards your chest, I think you're pressing, pressing it nice and open. Wonderful. Release all the way down. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Let the knees fall open to the sides. Tuck the shoulders underneath you. Arms relax at your side. Palms up to the sky. Closing down the eyes. Stay right there with the eyes. Nice and close. And just breathing deeply here in through the nose. And long, big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Try that a couple times. Inhale, nose. Exhale, big sigh. <sighs> moment to think about three things that we are grateful for. What can we be grateful for on this beautiful day? Start of a new week, start of a new challenge. What can we be grateful for today? I would love to hear later in the comments what you were grateful for, what came to mind for you. And before we move, let's first make a commitment to ourselves. So we have a nice little three-week challenge, three half-hour practices a week. Can you commit to yourself that you are going to show up? And even if something comes up that day, you're going to do the challenge or the practice another day. You're going to get all of these beautiful nine practices done over the next three weeks totally achievable goal, but we need to say that to ourselves, right? So commit to yourself that you are going to get on your mat with me at least three times a week during this challenge, and I promise you by the end of that, we are going to feel so, so good. One at a time, bend the knees, bring the feet onto the mat, 
roll on over to one side and then press yourselves up to a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like, back where we started a half hour ago. Let's seal in this positivity and this energy that, so that we can take it with us off our mats today. Inhale the arms to the sky, connect the palms, exhale the hands down through heart center, bowing forward in gratitude for this lovely practice. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Again, be sure to check out the links I've got for you if you want to scoop up a pink yoga mat. I don't know how long they're going to last, so grab it if you like it. And then, of course, I have the ultimate free yoga kickstart kit available for you as well. So be sure to check that out, too. I'm wishing you an absolutely fabulous rest of your day, and we'll see